There is so much untapped potential in the extra deck of Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, I really believe that. I believe that there are totally cards in every single mechanic in, a, in the extra deck for Yu-Gi-Oh! Fusion, Synchro, Exceed, Link, whatever it is. And there are a handful of cards in all of those that just either haven't seen play in a number of years or just have really never seen play competitively. So today we're going to start with, obviously, Fusion. That's the first one. I'm going to give you five options as far as cards that I think maybe haven't seen a ton of play, at least in a couple of years competitively, but really could uh, generically in certain decks. Of course, Fusion's kind of the worst one for this as well. Keep that in mind as we're going through this. Uh, just the way Fusion, the Fusion mechanic works, ton of decks that, that ended up getting Fusion monsters, they're either locked to their archetype, they're not generic enough, plus a lot of archetypes ended up getting their own Fusion spells to make things like Fusions happen, and so um, Polymerization kind of got pep, uh, crept out of the game in a lot of ways, so even just making generic Fusions really didn't happen a lot of the times. Um, so take that for what it is. It's going to be Super Poly targets, most of them, and then two other interesting ones that kind of fall in the same category as well but that's the best we can do we got to start with fusion we got to start somewhere i think synchro exceed and link is going to get a lot more interesting a lot more diverse um just because they're way more generic mechanics than fusion ends up being but uh that being said whatever we got to start somewhere let's get into it so number one on the list is borload furious dragon uh it's a super poly target I'm going to be honest. I mean, theoretically, we could end up getting a, a fusion mechanic that maybe is, you know, dragon-based. Or maybe it's just so good at, at, at doing stuff from Grave. Like, imagine if Tears could do what they do, but just didn't need to shuffle them themselves back into the deck as well. Um, then this would be way more interesting, because then if you just played an engine with them that was Dark Dragon, you could just get them in Grave, you'd be able to make this card pretty easily. It's a big monster, and it's essentially just a dragon on the field. So even particularly for... Um, uh, like super poly decks. I love, I love this getting extra value out of a super poly where not only am I taking two monsters off your board uh, without you being able to respond, but also putting up a new interruption, a Dryden effect on the field. And this card, if you're playing a dark, a deck that plays dark links, also gets you another free card back from grave later on in the duel. Very, very cool. Um, I think this card's pretty sweet. I, I can't believe this card has not come up more than it has. Even when Dragon Link was good and people were playing Super Poly, I, I can't believe that I, I still like didn't see this card more than I did. Uh, but it is what it is. I do think there's still potential there. Dragon's one of the best types in Yu-Gi-Oh. Gotta consider it. Number four, Earth Golem at Ignister. Kind of same thing here. Super Poly target. It takes a Cybers plus any Link monster. You could have also put something like a Deplexer Chimera on here. I just didn't think that felt as right. This one feels a little more generic. Just a little bit. Uh, because it takes a Link. And then if you're playing a Cybers deck, you can still like Super Poly any Link deck. Whereas with Deplexer Chimera, uh, if you know even if your opponent makes Links, if they're not Cybers, like, Super Poly doesn't hit them at all, uh, which is pretty bad. So, I, I don't know. I just felt like this one was a little more generic, plus, like, Deplexer Chimera's bonus effects are, like, almost negligible. At least this guy has some stuff. Uh, keeps you from taking damage for the rest of the turn after he's summoned. Uh, if he attacks a monster that was summoned from the extra deck, he gains attack equal to its original attack. Uh, so he pretty much clears over anything there from the extra deck. And if he's destroyed battle, you can just summon a Cybers monster from Grave. So if you're already playing a Cybers deck, uh, just being able to, like, crash him into something bigger and still just get a free monster back is actually pretty spicy as well. So, a uh, pretty cool card. Obviously, the bonus effects are mid. They're not great, but it's something. And I do think just the fact that you can hit any generic link off the field if you're playing Cybers, or the fact that, let's not forget, Cybers is the type that they based links around. So, a lot of the generic ones ends up being Cybers anyway. I think this card could still see play. So, cool. Another super poly target. We'll throw it in the batch. And the last one, the last super poly target I'll throw at you is Guilty Gear Free, the Magical Steel Knight. Kind of an under-the-radar one. This card's never seen play because it's actually fairly recent. Um, but yeah, his, his materials are any two warriors with different attributes. That's pretty freaking good. Um, now, it is different attributes, and that's the part that makes this a little bit weirder. Um, but, uh, I mean, listen, we've still got Ice Sold in the game, right? We've still got a plenty of insane warrior cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, I will not be surprised if we see other decks making use of Warrior, the Warrior engine at some point. It's 
And we all agree it's one of the strongest types in the game. It's kind of like dragons, where even if dragons aren't great, you still have to sit there and look at all the tools they have and say, man, they don't need much. Konami just needs to give them a little something, one new archetype that you know that gives them a little core, whatever. We saw them for nobles just jump on the scene. Boom, I sold, I sold, made him insane. We saw Dark Warrior deck, Goki, all those decks be made insane off of I sold. I think we're still in that like frame of mind, and I don't think that's incorrect. And I think this card could be something that ends up like responding to those boards pretty well. Also, his bonus effects are really nice. If he's ever targeted by anything, including your own effects, he can negate that effect and then destroy a card on the field. Non-targeting, pretty cool. Uh, if he's fusion to summon using only monsters on the field, he can attack twice. Also pretty good for the, with a 2700 body. And if he battles an opponent's monster, you can uh, banish a spell from your grave to have him gain attack equal to his, uh, to his defense until the end of this turn, uh, which is also insane because it means you can just like kill your opponent. If you summon him using only monsters on the field, he could be like literally what 4,300 with two attacks. It's pretty, pretty broken. Although he does have to battle a monster. Uh, to get that bonus, so maybe not quite an OTK by himself, but a lot of damage, and you don't need much else to really get in for lethal. So, again, cool warrior, one of the best you know types in the game, and that's really what we're looking at here: cybers, you know, dragon and uh, warrior, three of the best types in the game. I'm sure we'll see more decks that kind of come to the meta game and, and make themselves uh, you know very prevalent. And these cards could come up as super poly if uh, targets if that does happen. Number two on the list, Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon. Uh, this is probably the number, like this one and the next one are, are my number ones on this list for sure. It's not that particularly close uh, because, like I said at the beginning of the video, the fusions just don't have a lot of generic application outside of super poly targets and stuff like that. These, however, are a little bit different. So outside of super poly, you can also play something like Cyber Dragon. In your side in your main depending on the deck you're playing and these cards become immensely powerful tools especially in specific meta games for ripping boards apart and the best part is uh they do it in ways that don't even give your, your opponent an activated effect to even respond to uh, and so it makes it very awkward they have to fire preemptive measures you've never normal summoned because cyber dragon just summoned himself for free and it's insane. So if you don't know about the contact fusing mechanic, just putting Cyber Dragon on the field, whether it's face up or face down, you can link, uh, essentially fuse off with your opponent's monster without a poly card. It's really broken. It's not an activated effect, so they can't respond to it. It's just a special summon, inherent summon, essentially. Um, and it's, it's broken because your opponent just doesn't have a way to respond unless they preemptively fire something when your Cyber Dragon is summoned and it's removal in some way other than like returning to hand. Uh, but yeah, so pretty much Chimera Attack Mega Fleet being able to wipe any monster out of the MZ is the most potent one here because I think it's going to cover more matchups. As we've seen, Link has pretty much proven that it's the most powerful mechanic. Even when we look at tier, like yes, the tier cards are powerful, but most builds of tier just use the tier mechanic to facilitate strong Link monsters. Like it always comes back to Link's. So it's, it's the strongest extra mechanic in the game um, and they have to use the MZ. So I think this card... Be, uh, could be really, really crucial there, uh, not, especially given the fact that like not only do you wipe the monster in the EMZ for free, uh, essentially, but you also drop a 2400 body on the field. So like as far as like card advantage goes, you use one card to get a 2400 beater, and your opponent lost the card in the EMZ. So now you go battle phase if they have anything weak in the 24, clear another monster for free, right? Like one card removes two of those, and you still have a body on the field. Um, which is really cool. Uh, which brings us to the last one, which is kind of in the same vein, obviously. It's coming out of Tech Fortress. Same idea, except instead of wiping monsters in the EMZ, it wipes all, it can wipe any number of machine monsters uh, you want from the field. Absolutely broken. Uh, if you play a machine deck like crazy, and also again, we talked about Cybers, we talked about Dragon, we talked about Warrior. Machine is right up in there as one of the most broken types in the game we've seen so many machine decks come through and be insanely strong right you guys remember orcus format right uh yeah so stuff like that um so keep that in mind um if any really good machine deck comes along machine machines have a ton of good ar archetypes and stuff um so they're always coming like in and out of the meta if they're there then this package becomes even more insane and if there is a really good machine deck, I'll be one of the first people to tell you, hey, like maybe if that matchup is rough for you, maybe consider siding 
three copies of Cyber Dragon. You can also search it off Emergency. You can also play um, Cyber Tune and search it off of the uh, Tune Table of Contents, right? Like you have super easy access to these as well. And this one even more so because if they're just playing a machine deck, especially a machine deck that like locks itself into machine so it's end board, it's just gonna be like two to four machine monsters. You literally just summon a Cyber Dragon and clear their entire board without ever activating an effect. So insanely broken. So there you go. Those are my five. Again, apologies. You know, I know Fusion isn't the best one for these types of videos, but like I said, we got to start somewhere. So we'll take it. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Are there any other Fusions you think? Uh, I know most of them are just going to end up being super poly targets, but you know, that you would want to throw out there as, hey, maybe this is something that could come up down the line generically, um, depending on the format. And uh, yeah, would love to hear your thoughts on that. So I'm out of here for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff from me down the line. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.